I always understood it would be a mental game to stay at the top. And I was willing to do almost anything to be mentally strong enough. But I was not willing to sacrifice who I was to win. I'm proud of this trophy, but I am hell of a lot more proud of who I was to win it, who I became in the process of winning it. Champion mentality is the endless pursuit of being the best man I can be, regardless of this trophy comes home with. Though I have to admit, it's pretty damn sweet bonus to have five of these now. Quote from Chris Bumstead, five times her classic physique at Mr. Olympia, meaning the power of human will. Why did I quote Mr. Chris Bumstead, five time Mr. Olympia? Because trading and investing, you need a strong mentality. You need to become the best man. And you are going through a process to become a trader and a successful investor. This process does not mean you buy a newsletter. This process does not even mean you subscribe to my channel. This process is you building your own system. You going through a mental process. You becoming mentally strong. You will lose. You will win. But this is all part of a process. I am here in this channel to explain you my system. I'm here in this channel to explain you my process. Today's video will be about the VIX. Today's video will be about what we call the fear indicator. Recently, we have come out and told you we are buying on the dips. Recently, we told you that we are intermediate term bullish and also keeping our long term bullish stance. The problem is, is the short term and the short term, the probability we are going to go lower in the next few days because we are reaching extreme levels of overbought. Now, here's a big caveat. We are not selling into this market. We are not shorting into this market this time around. In the year 2023, the beginning of the year, we were telling you every time there was a sell-off to buy on the dips. Then in September, we came to a position where we told you overbought and oversold indicators are working well. Now, in the last about week, we are telling you and we are switching our stance and going back to the buy on the dips. On the last video, we gave you five reasons why you need to buy on the dips. But today, we're going over the reason why we sh you should wait a little bit because we are going to have a sell-off. On this sell-off, do not sell into this market. On this sell-off, do not short into this market. Usually on these sell-offs, they may not be the sell-offs that you are expecting. But we believe the rally towards the end of the year and into January will be something fantastic. Before we get started, disclaimer, the information provided on our channel is for educational informational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for professional financial advice. You must protect your capital by all means. This is not a recommendation to buy or to sell or to do whatever I am doing. Even though our track record for the last two years has been amazing, we understand we're dealing with probabilities. And sooner or later, the probability we will be wrong also, even though we have been extremely right recently and for the last two years. What is our weight of evidence for the short term? And remember, we are to medium term bullish and long term bullish and short term, even though we think we're going to sell off, we're leaving it neutral because we will be not participating in the sell off. The VIX and the VXN have reached levels of overbought. There is no fear in this market. And when there is no fear in this market, history shows us that we are going to go lower. But thus saying that because of the indexes having such a great week and us coming off our stage analysis of 90% and capitulation, we feel that because of capitulation, we will go up higher in the intermediate term and long term, but the short term sell off will not be that deep. So we don't believe we're going to sell off that much to build up this fear index. Thus saying that. We will be buying the dips and telling you on videos. So for the short term, we are bearish because of the VIX and the VXN. We are also seeing that for our stage analysis, 70% of the S&P 500 securities are still on a downtrend. 
So even though they have improved 20% because of what recently has happened, they are still on a downtrend. So it does not look good on the stage analysis. But that will be improving when we start basic. This is the VIX contract. This VIX contract works the opposite of the market. So now that this has so sold off the VIX contract and our proprietary indicator is at zero, there is a great possibility that we are going to sell off. When this number reached over here, we were telling you to buy. When this reached number reached over here, we were telling you to sell. It's the same way. When there was a lot of fear in the market, we were telling you to buy. When there was a lot of now euphoria in the market, we're telling you to wait. And the reason why we're telling you to wait is because we believe we had capitulation. Three, four days of up days, which we talked about in our video for two, about two weeks ago and reiterated each of our videos from there. On the bearish side, if you look over here, again, this number is at zero, which works opposite the market. If you look at the oversold short-term, medium-term, long-term, and exit swing single, all bearish signs. Again, telling us short-term we're going to have a sell-off. If you look at the components, which have worked very well this year, we are at extreme highs. Since we are at extreme highs at these levels, at 93.87, any type of bad news will insinuate a sell-off, and it usually does. The only caveat this time, I don't think the sell-off is going to be that much. I don't think the sell-off is going to last very long. But still saying that, buy on the dips, but we're not dipping just yet. We'll see what happens next week and if we can have an opportunity to buy on these dips. Remember how happy you were in January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, and up to September on buying on the dips. I think those days are back. Let's continue further. Our put call options ratio, there's still fear in the market based on a five-day average put call ratio. We feel that this number will go lower. For the intermediate term, double AII market sentiment ratio is bullish. There are not many bullish people out there last week, so it has a very good chance of going up higher for the intermediate term and long term. What has really helped us lately is dividing the Rydex funds, Nova and Ursa. When the number was close to 450, minus 450, we were yelling at you to buy. Now, short term, that the number's at 300, we're yelling at you to wait. It's the same thing. For the stock price strength, we see extreme fear, again, helping us on the intermediate term. So let's just recap. We have recently, in the last week, have changed intermediate term to bullish, and we have steadfast our long term to bullish. Our short term, we believe we're getting a sell-off, but we are keeping it in neutral because we do not want to short into what we thought was capitulation the last week. The reasons for this short term wait and hold is the VIX is at euphoria. The oversold indicators, like our short term, is at zero. Our medium and term, long term, and exit swing is at extreme levels from zero to 22. An indicator has worked very well for us are exceeding new extreme highs, and we know what happens when we get new extreme highs. The only caveat that we're throwing in is because of capitulation, we are not going to see much of a sell-off, but we will be waiting to buy on the dips, and we will be announcing on this channel when we are buying on the dips. Remember our disclaimer. Remember building your own system. Remember who you are on this mental process. I am not a perfect trader. I am not even close to being a perfect trader, but I am a successful trader because I put the probabilities in my favor. You can be a fundamentalist. You can be a technical ana analysis. You can be a historical trader, but you still need to make your own system. You know the catchphrase, study it, analyze it, adapt it, peace.